Hey guys, back with another Throwback Thursday. Today we're going to be playing Cannon Spike for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, this is uh, just a cover art that I printed out. I have a game. I have loose game. A lot of my loose Dreamcast games I'll make uh, just custom cover art for. But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this is a game made by Capcom. It's kind of a uh, on rails almost beat em up, shmup uh, combination. Very unique game. Uh, and it's awesome. <laughs> like I said, it's probably like it's very arcadey. Like you, when you come in here, you get to select from a bunch of uh, random Capcom figures. I usually always pick Cami or Mega Man. So let's go ahead and ride out with Cami. But the game is not very long. I want to say you can probably get through it because you can adjust to different difficulty settings. Um, and it, if you do complete the game, I want to say it's like maybe like less than half hour maybe 20 minutes i want to say but yeah so you kind of you're kind of like almost like i said you can see it's acts like a shmup and at the same time you can also treat it like a beat em up so it's very very unique in that fashion this game is like i said i have it loose i don't have the complete copy because complete copy i want to say runs for around 200 dollars, which is the downside um to this game <laughs> And I guess you can run into that with a lot of uh, uh, good games on the Dreamcast. They can get up there pretty pricey. This is probably one of the most, maybe not the most expensive game, but one of the most expensive games on the Dreamcast. And I don't know if this game was actually ever in the arcade or not. I mean, it seems like a very arcadey type game, which a lot of the games on the Dreamcast did. Get this guy. Get him. Get him. Get him, Kimmy. But yeah, it's an extremely, extremely fun game to play. I love how, I mean, and I always love when all the players have the, let me do my special, all the players have like their health bars and stuff. Ah, he's about to get me. Got him, got him. Get out of there, Cammy. All right, I think we're through mission one. On to mission two. Oh, I need some health, man. I thought my health was going to regenerate at the end of the, that mission. I was getting a little bit careless. Yeah, so you basically will hold, it holds one position as you move around, and then when you stop firing, then you can kind of change your the way you're firing. So it kind of, this nowadays would be a, a twin stick shooter, but for obvious reasons, the Dreamcast didn't have twin sticks, so it's a, that's how they did a single stick shooter back in the day, I guess. This would be a great game if they start porting over like Dreamcast games to the Switch. I know they're doing like Sega is porting games over and they've talked about doing uh, Dr Dreamcast games over to the Switch. This would be a great game for them to do. And if they re basically re uh, <coughs> Did some little bit programming, changed it a little bit to where you could do it as a twin stick shooter. That would be freaking awesome. Get him, get him, Kimmy. Got him. I don't think I'm done. I think now I got the the boss. Ah. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's so low. All right. He's done. All right, should be going on to mission three. Like I said, like yeah, these missions are pretty. They're pretty quick. They come and they're come and gone, or come and go. Get 
some of this. Let's get some beat em up action. Get some beat em up. Yeah, those are two of my favorite genres, beat em, beat em ups and shmups. So you go and you put them together in the game and it's like a recipe for a uh, game that I'm going to love. I got you, I got you. And you're done. No, you're not. Oh, God. Come on, man. You guys just don't want to go down. All right, so we've got the bosses here. Bosses, let's go. Let's go. Oh, they got three of them. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh, they're going to get me. Jeez. <laughs> no. No. Oh, do I got another continue? Yes, I do. All right, I almost got, I almost got two of them. And you're not. I need to get get these guys out of the way. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. Got one. Got two. Let's get this guy. All right. Got him. Got him. All right. So that's mission three on the mission four. Let's see. Well, maybe we'll get through this. See if we can get through this mission, and then may may call it an episode. Yeah, I think there's like nine, there's somewhere like, I want to say, between eight to ten missions, I believe. I'm not sure the exact number. But like I said, we've been playing for close to, probably about like seven, eight minutes. And we're maybe about a third of the way, close to halfway through the game. Alright, we got some specials. We'll save these for the, for the big guys. Ah, shoot. Get him. Ah, shoot, I missed. Dag on it. Get him, Cammy, get him. Alright, here's the boss. Big Wheel Dragon. Whoa. We got a couple specials. Let's just spam them with specials. See if we can get them out of here. Got him, got him. All right, I think that's it, guys. I think I'll end on a good note. <laughs> on a good note. <laughs> but you got that cannon spike for the Sega Dreamcast, one of the one of the prize games on the Dreamcast. Um, yeah, make sure you guys, if you like, you like the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more. I'll be back with another Throwback Thursday next week, and I'll see you later.